Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode what I would like to do is actually do some more industrial foregoing. No, I don't know what they called the last time foraging I think. And um, my luck would correct me on that one so that's fine. So let's get someone doing that. I was actually going to look at Harvester and then I came across Harvester and I found something more interesting. So let's start with that one. I don't know whether this is actually possible to make. But if it is, it's freaking awesome. <laughs> One million attack damage. And what's it's got for the stats? 999 durability. I don't think it's actually possible to make this, but we could actually try. So we need a slimy tool rod, so that's basically one of these. We need some slime dirt, which we could do like that. We just cook that in a furnace like this. Oh, I've got some, that's what I want to do today. Got some stuff prepared, some plastic. I was talking about rubber. This rubber is actually not the one I wanted. It's not interchangeable with plastic. This is basically for industrial craft because I wanted to make a macerator. And that was a tip from Big Bob the Big Bat, make a macerator. So, cobble pickaxe, head, no big deal. Ardite binding, no big deal. Let's go and do those two. What do we need? It's two pieces for a, one piece for a binding and two pieces for a head, isn't it? I don't believe this is going to work. I think it might be a creative item but if I don't try it I know, I know it's not going to work so let's go and we want a tool rod so we want the part builder um tool rod pattern I think the material cost for this is just one so now we've got a slime tool rod the next one I better put these in separately hadn't I so if do one at a time I think I did show you my new smeltery, didn't I? So, all right, let's put those two in there. And let's get the binding out and the pickaxe head out. Now, I had a problem with this. This was definitely not working. Take those out of there like that. That's turned off, that's fine. So we have to let these two smelt up. And then we can do the binding. Actually, I could put the binding on this one over here, couldn't I? In fact, I might have to change it over. Wouldn't it? I'll see in a second. We'll find out. So I can say, so, right, that should be just about done. Not quite yet. I mean, it doesn't go that fast. I think I did show this military. The only thing I did really was differently make it a bit bigger and put a... Underneath this, I put... Uh, what was it, a block of um, yellowium to make it go faster and it doesn't make so much it works better, cleaner I drop anything and it doesn't go get burnt out right, that should be done now let's right click that, didn't work, is it melted? yes it is, you see, two ingots in here's the pickaxe head right click this it ain't coming out so what I have to do now is I basically take this out of here like this swap it over here so I think must be a bug that's been introduced in the latest version, which at the moment is 1.3.3.10, I think. Wait for that to be made. Good. Let's take that out of that. Put that in there. I should have already put the yardite in. It ain't going to work anyway. So let's just put that into there like that. That'll not be smelting. But there's no point in waiting for that while that's cooking. Let's start with the industrial foregoing stuff because the one thing I need to do is I made these rubber mystical plants well which we're going to deal with next time but we've got a plant sower and we've got a plant gatherer and that's fairly straightforward we need what an iron hoe and two axes two gears and a machine frame machine frame blocks of iron that's no big deal probably gonna need two of these let's put the machine frame into here Oh yes, I was trying to make some something else come out. Let's right click that once and it'll do it, I think. It's very, very fast. These on the other hand take quite a lot of time. 8 GP required for that one or something like that. No, four, I think it was 6 GP, wasn't it? Okay, that's now ready. So I'll click that out here as well. Good. But let's take that with us. 
and put those two back in the park chest over here which one do we want to put in that one first and then that one and then that one I guess oh yes I know what I wanted to go and get was a hoe these were mod, mod, mob drops anyway so I think I kept a few around axes I've been throwing a lot of them away because it's there we got some hoes and some axes and that's expecting matters if they're if they're um, enchanted or not. Maybe it does. If it does, I'll just mix them together. So now we want to the plant gatherer. Sure enough, it doesn't matter. I can use those just like that. So now I've got one plant gatherer. And I think I'm going to need a plant sower, but I don't know whether it's going to work. What do we need for that? Another iron gears, uh, another machine frame. I wonder if we've got enough iron for that. Yep, I have iron gears. We need some iron out of it. We need eight. I've already got three. No problem. No problem. We have, as I said before, no shortage of iron at the moment. It just happens to be in this form. Let's take this. Let's take all of those with us. And in fact, this is probably the fastest way anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in stack into here, I think. Well, 42 will do fine. That'll smelt. And put the rest of it into here. Like that. You'll see I've got lots of iron in here anyway. So we wanted gears, didn't we? Two iron gears. And I'm sure these don't work either. I just don't know what's broken on this thing. So let's have a look. Right, we've already got two buckets. Let's, does it work? No, nope, it's not working, you see. Turn it on. It's still not working. Turn it off again. That bug is really irritating and I don't know what's causing it. Maybe you know. So, gears. What's going wrong here? Ooh, can I not do that metal? Because this is pure iron ore. Ah, oh, maybe I can't use it. That's uh, also a problem. <laughs> All right, in that case, then that's fair enough. I don't. So you see, normally you can put that into here and actually without a cast, it will make an ingot. Well, at least I thought it did do. In fact, we can do it like, oops, try again, a million time. Now, ingots do work. Let's just click it once and it should. Is it not working? I don't get it. Is there something in here? Oh, molten emerald, 36 milliworkers. All right, I have to clear it off. Just click it and click that off because there's nothing I can do with 36 million buckets of. Is it empty now? Doesn't say anything in there, does it? Maybe that's what the problem was. It's not visible. I don't know how I got 36 million buckets of emerald or it in there either. That's a bit strange. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is working. Let's try that again. Let's right click that off there. Oh, double check is actually making gears. Nope, it's making ingots. So that's what happened to me last time. I think that's just purely to do with this ore, the pure ore. It doesn't seem to be working as it, I would expect it to work. How much, in, how much have we got in here now? Oh, well, might as well wait for that to be fairly fast. As you can see, it's going through there fairly quickly. One more ingot, and that's and it's iron. Does this work? Yes, it does. Hopefully, we're not producing ingots this time. Ah, yes, we are producing gears. Okay. So the pure ores are a bit strange. They don't work as you would expect them to. Let's just move those out of there, in that case, and put everything into there, because there's no use in any other form. So let's take these two set, these two gears out of that. Phew. That was giving me some trouble, I can tell you. I spent a while looking at that and didn't get anywhere until I looked at it again. With you. So right, where are we now? Industrial foregoing. So I need to make the crop. Plant so Ah, oh, so we flower pot. Can we do that? Yes we can. One flower pot. I think that's everything we need, isn't it? Probably not. Oh, pistons. 
some stone. We need some cobblestone. Let me four pieces of cobblestone. And the rest it looks like we have, so we should be able to shift click that into place. That one. What am I short of? <laughs> Wood and what's that? Oh, it was some strange. Oh, I suppose I need eight pieces of cobblestone, three pieces of three planks. Planks, planks, planks. I've got three. Okay, good. Let's try that again. Now we should be able to make that straight up. I'm missing another machine frame. Okay. Can we. Oh, yes, I'm missing iron. <laughs> oh, no, I've got the iron. It's alright. I can do that straight away. I just haven't. Uh, shift clicking that does work. Good. So I should be able to make this straight away now. I think they both need power. That's the only trouble. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to generate power for this. Actually, I do know how I'm going to generate power for this. This is basically the mine factory re um, reloaded stuff from. That's basically the planter, isn't it? And this would be the harvester. So I reckon we can probably use uh, the wireless. Oh, there's a mob just above my head. It'll be a blaze. Uh, it'll be an ember. I reckon we probably can use these wireless chargers. For that, we need some GP. So let's go and have a look at GP. Oh, let's try this. I've forgotten, haven't I? Let's put this bit together. Where's my pickaxe head? Well, there's the binding. There's the rod, and there's the pickaxe head. But it doesn't give you quite the same. There must be something special about that one, because that gives you, what does it give us? 5.1 attack damage. All right, I'm not gonna bother with this one. <laughs> we'll just put the bits back. Not sure what Slimy does. I'll put the bits into here like that. I wanna got this there. Uh, Cast. Did I not take well, that cast back in again? Let's just put this cast into here. That being. So what I'm going to think about doing, we need some GP to get these wireless transmitters and receivers working. So the easiest, I tried the water one. So we need our extra utilities, don't we? I've got caps lock on again. Mill. So I tried the water one in the um, hot springs, didn't work, so we can forget about that one. A fire mill, so I'm not sure what we can, we need some burnt stone, another fence, that's no big deal, and one of these, we can make that, no problem. Resonating crystal. Um, burnt stone, we just need some smooth stone, basically stone. And the one we need is these, we needed six, didn't we? So we've got four, two in there, so we need another four of these. And all you do with these, you just craft those up into a square like we did before, I think. That'll produce polished stone. Now I can put the polished stone into here. And it says power point for GP. Oh, I've got some power from somewhere, don't ask me where. So basically what happens, oh yes, this needs eight. And you'll see it counts up to eight, and then it goes back to zero again. So we have to wait quite a while for these to work. So it does make sense to actually get this to be automated, doesn't it? So we just put it in and forget about it. And hopefully we get in a short while what we need. And once we've got a few of these running, it's not really much of a big deal. We need six of these and you can see it's counting up. I'm not even counting the number. I think that's probably number three, maybe number four. Because if it doesn't need it anymore, it's not going to count up. It's just going to carry on after seven. I mean, after eight. It 
it's probably about six let's have a quick look oh yes we got them all now so now we can actually make the fire mill and i think this is also a quest what are we missing just one nether brick uh nether brick fence i might even have one of those in here don't see one let's try doing it in here anyway so we can carry on with that one this looks like a I actually didn't make any difference so we'll take the we'll do this one so only want one of those and put the others into here and I went in so they must have I must have oh yes I've got some out there look as usual can't see well, there is something I'm going to build in the next episode and that's going to be an index so we need this of course there's some torches and I probably haven't got any wood <laughs> ah, I haven't got any wood I'm not up not by half we need um, we'll make eight redstone torches just don't believe it right okay and we're missing something else. What was that one? Plank. I reckon that was a plank, wasn't it? I think I do remember it being fairly straightforward, actually. Just a plank with some torches around it. Yeah, good. So now we can make the fire mill. And that should complete the quest. GP generation. Now, have I got around another hibachi because they're quite nice for fire aren't they no i don't have another hibachi but uh let's make another hibachi i think i've got the bits and pieces for it because what do we need it was a heating element this one here and we need some of these ingots oh i do have one look let's take that with us and then we also take a redstone torch or a, a lever i've probably got lots of levers with me so i'm going to take and try this where are we going to put this thing I think I'll put it towards the back here it doesn't make any difference where I put it let's use this pickaxe we to look sometime we're going to get a prosperity shard from there so I'll put the battery down here like that I need a redstone signal onto that, which I can do with a start. I think I can do that with a standard lever. I'm just thinking, have I got one with me? I'm sure I have. Oh, yes, 10. Look. Oops. Oh, embers, they're such a pain. <laughs> and I should be able to put the lever down here because that should power that block. It does great. So now all we need to do is put this above that. Oh, not quite like that. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. I hope I haven't just burnt the stupid thing, have I? Turn it off. I think I've just destroyed my fire mill. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> then don't put your fire mill in the thing so what do I need for that oh gosh it was all that burnt that burnt stone wasn't it gosh that was a bit that took the time anyway we need uh, eight of these cool. I've got two polished stone already so I only need only four okay we'll just do that now. we need six don't we Oh man. What else did we need? One of those crystals. Hmm. Should really count. I think that's probably number two now.
Well, it's getting a bit of lag on that, isn't it? This is a lot better when you've got the, the mills going anyway, so. What have we got now? Four, okay. It doesn't matter, you can stop it and start it like that. And it carries on with the grid power stays the same. You don't lose any grid power by looking away from it. That should be five. And that should be six. Now it says zero, see, it's not generating any. So that was those. Oh, we needed a clay. I don't know what we needed for that now, I've forgotten. Oh, fence. All right, that's no big deal. We can do that one. There's no shortage of ender pearls, so we can no problem with that one. And then what's the next one? This one. Oh, so we can make our meal. If you've really made two of these, shouldn't I? It doesn't generate too much. I think it generates two GP. It says four, but I'm not 100% sure about that. You certainly need two of these to, to make some more burnt stone. So this time, I'm going to put it in the right place. Here. And I can turn it on. So that should now be generating GP. Yep, generating GP. Great. So I'll need two of those in order to do that. Now, what did I need that for? Oh, yes, I remember. The wireless power systems. So what we... Gosh, that's a bit of lag at the moment. I can feel it. Yep, it's red. Unfortunately, the DX theory window happens to sit on top of it. It's giving me a GPU alert, so that means it's on the slow side. Um, wireless, they're in here, aren't they? These things. They require 4GP. Oh. <laughs> that was a sigh. That means... I think what I'm going to do, first of all, is to make at least another one of those things. How many have got there? 20. Take off. I'll take off four. We'll turn these into stone. Unfortunately, it's going to work because we need to have eight. And we're only generating four. So when I put this into here like this, it goes up to four. And then it won't go any further than that because that's what it's generating. So for this to work, we need 8 GP, so we have to right-click it manually, and it'll, at least it'll go and help. So now we've got a total of 19, which is the 4 we've got, plus this lot. So we need 6 of these things. Do you know, I didn't really want to spend a whole episode making 5 mils, but there we are. I'm going to make, I'm going to make at least 2, and then we can get the rest of them done automatically. We don't need to worry about it. How many have we got now? Three, okay. That'll be four. This time it should go up faster because we've got two sources of GP. That'll be five. But it's also a good demonstration of how the GP works. Six, good. That'll go up to that and then we need to make one of these. So we need another fence. Or another crystal. I've got some of those made already. Good. So let's try that again. I need to make some more of these. Yeah, planks. Yeah, brilliant. I've actually got enough torches. That's good. At least, at least I can make the others off camera now, so that's no big deal. Game's really laggy at the moment. Now let's make another hibachi. Because those aren't too bad now, once we've got the, the heating element. That just stone, redstone, okay. Do we missing basically those three? Okay, good. I think they're in here anyway. 
So we got three of these. Stone, wasn't it? And the heating element. We should be able to start straight off. Oh, I need four pieces of stone. Probably should have seen that. Let's try this one. So that'll do. I'm going to take one piece of redstone with me. Because from the lever I can basically move it across one if it doesn't work. So. Like that. For the safety's sake, I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> Just in case. I'm going to dig down here one block here like this. They're actually down there. Might actually work from the same lever. Put the next mill down here like that. Yep, I put one piece of redstone down here. I think it'll work. I'm not 100% sure. It does good. So now we're generating 8 GP grid power. And you can see it's going up and down because it's producing the um, those more stone burnt things. So when I've got the next one, I'll put down the... Um, the power. So what I'm going to do in here, I assume this is exactly the same as it was with the mine factory reloaded. Wow, the lag is appalling at the moment. It's probably the mobs actually. What I'm going to do is going to turn off the mob factory. So let's do that. Wow, because I can't work with this. We got plenty, plenty of whatever. We don't need to stop. So there's two things I'm going to do with this mob factory. The first thing is I'm going to turn the lights off. That will prevent endermen. As you can see. So that will prevent endermen spawning. I'm just going to wait a little bit here because I want the. What I'm waiting for is some of those mobs to, to disappear. In fact, we could actually put the mega torch down here as well. Let's do that for that sake. That'll prevent other mobs spawning. It doesn't prevent the, the zombie pigmen spawning. Have a quick look. <laughs> look at all that. There's a blight one. He's going to take a bit of killing. I can tell you that for nothing. I don't know how much XP health they've got these days, but it'll be tons. That's the problem with that's the problem with the mob tool at the moment. This chest is full. Oh, can I just take some stuff out of here, can we? Anything else we've got in there that we can take out? Players rods. Inferior lessons probably good. And then that'll slowly it'll slowly disappear. Oh, prosperity and essence, that's strange. Turn that off. Cause, and then we should actually have a bit less. As those mobs dis disappear, we'll have a little bit less lag, I reckon. Gosh. What's that one over there? Certainly quieter, if nothing else. And the frame rate is still bad, I'm still in the red. <laughs> So what was I trying to do? Oh yes, I was trying to put down these things here. Now normally what you do with this is you put a tank, uh, you put down here, there's a three by three area. 
by default, which is this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down here. Um, dirt. I'll take this cross block like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is put the plant sower. Now that normally needs to be down one more. Okay. So the sower goes down like that. On top of that would normally go a tank, a, a water block to hydrate things. And then we need three blocks of, there's a three by three area normally, which is basically here, I think, for the harvester. So let's see if this works. Maybe we've turned it around the wrong way. Yeah, the business end is that way, okay. So I should be able to turn this around with the crescent hammer, see if this works. If not, after, oh, it does good. So that would normally harvest crops in the th oh done it again. So that would normally harvest crops in the three by three area like this. So it needs power. Now we can give it power with this wireless transmitter. I thought it was a transmitter. Ah, do you know what? I might be doing this in a bad place. Maybe I need to put it down here because if I remember rightly. Like so full. I haven't had too much of a problem like in the past. So you can put this down here like this, and this would then power all these machines in the local area, I think. Like that. I don't know how what its range is. It's certainly sent powering up to up to the Magna Crucible. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll pick this up. I can. Oh, it does work, it's good pick up this <laughs> no I can't let's break it where's that gone to picked up that and that so the power cell so I think we can put the power cell near to those two machines would be my guess and it will harvest the, the magical crops I've not dealt with magical crops yet but we will do so Let's have a look. Let's put it down, say, here. Let's put the wireless transmitter on top of it. And right, click that. That should... Oh, yes, that was doing that one. All right. Is it doing this one? No. It's doing the... Cr this, it was doing this. It's got... should have power in it. So we'll click that. Right, click that again. So I'm not seeing it coming here. Do I have to do to activate this thing? Power drain one. Do you know, I thought I'd just put this on like that and it just powered things up from taking the power from this power cell here. But it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, of course it's not working. Ah, because I need to set this to out. And then that should then be powering things on. Yeah, look at that. And it's already got a second seed. It's got the seed. So that seed then has to get fed into here. I plant the seed in here. I've got no power. Great. <laughs> Always active. Show working area. Yeah, it's a three by three area, but it's not getting any power. I thought that would look like it should go into that. Oh, that's gone down a little. That was tier three earlier on. I'm pretty certain it was tier three. So that's not getting any power. That's a challenge for me. All right. I reckon what I'm going to have to do is put some conduits underneath here. Let's do that. I thought these wireless transmitters had quite a decent range, but it doesn't look as though they have. So have I got... Oh, I've probably got it with me, actually. Let's have a look. Flux duct. Let's have flux duct. I've got 11. I'm also going to have to put some item duct down. I've probably got enough for that. Good. So let's try that then. Well, at least we know the harvester works, and it harvests the crops, which is great. And it can actually do show show range on this one as well I'll turn that one off because i'm still showing the range on this one not so it's green you see it does the same area by default like that so 
we're going to have to come down underneath this ground, underneath the land here, and put this underneath it. So we're going to do that then. Oh, wrong. Yes, okay, so fine. Oh, it's got a cling. Well, so much like it's probably because of the, this has now been. Nope. What happened then? What will that cling for? So we should be able to put some pipe down here like this. Wrong one, of course. Actually, I do need to take this block out of here. Let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Like that. And we should put the item duct in there. So let's just take that back off again. So let's put down the item duct going down from here. I'm feeding this. So we need that to feed it with seeds, don't we? And we need this one to come down here like this. And this needs to feed it with power. Now, does it have power? It does, fantastic. Now, rubber seeds. Oh, yes, these are coloured, aren't they? So the one I want to plant it in is here. So it needs to be in the purple slot. Yes, it got. I think I had to lock it into place. <laughs> so you see now it's there, which is what I want it to behave like, I think. So let's get out of here. Let me cover this up again. So really, I just need now a way to charge this up. What I'm going to do here is put a tank on it. In fact, what we can also do, of course, is we can take our hoe and see if we get another worm not yet oh a bit strange well, that's overgrown another rat yes I know Smalico said they were actually quite rare so I've got another one so we could actually plant this one. I guess we can plant this one here, can't we? In the, in the area, I only got one that time. So if I plant this one here, it can work on this area for us. Make all of these things harvestable. So when this gets harvested again, it's going to go back into here. And it doesn't matter which slot it goes into because all of this is now going to be harvested. And in the, in the meantime, this is going to grow up into uh, the grass blocks again so what I was thinking about doing here was to putting a tank on top of it but it's not going to work is it so it's basically doing ticking away always active this one's probably always active too yes it's actually using, using quite a lot of power yes it is unfortunately <laughs> so I'm going to have to find a way to power this up so I shall do that between episodes, I think. Maybe I'll just drag a cable all the way through from there. And I'm going to remove this because that's not doing any good, I don't think. Unless it's giving power to this machine. Whoa. The lag is awful and they can't really play while their lag is so bad, actually. So that's it for this episode. I would like to have done some more stuff with um, magical crops, but maybe we'll do that next time. So until then, bye for now.